and welcome to Ion Paulsboro. Today's program comes to you from the Little League Field here on Mantra Avenue, down towards the river. And uh, they've done a wonderful job on the renovation of the main field. Herman, what a nice break it is to be here. Oh, John, I remember when my boys played here. And do you know when my boys played, girls weren't allowed on the boys' team? Times have changed. Well, times have changed dramatically. Uh, I, I tell you, it's just pleasant to be here. I just came from the State House. Uh, it's so much better here at the moment. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. We've got a full program. Uh, we think you're going to enjoy it. Stay with us. We're coming right back from the Paulsburg Little League Complex. Multi policy discount. Paperless discount. Hand in full discount. Homeowners discount. Safe driver discount. Chipmunk family reunion. Someone stole the nuts. Squirrel jail. Justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice. Think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. Welcome back. The weather's cooperating. We've had an awful lot of rain this month, but so far so good. We're here on the Diamond here at the Paulsburg Little League Complex. With me is the president of the Paulsburg Little League, uh, Treva Oster. Did I say it right? Yes, so you did. I did very well. I did very well. You know, there's great history here, although I couldn't remember exactly how many years. They celebrated the 50th anniversary a handful of years ago, it seems. Mark Camp's in the back trying to, I'm looking at him to say, Mark, please figure out how many years that the Little League's been in operation. But a lot of kids and parents and families have passed through this complex over the years. It was wonderful history here. A lot of improvements taking place, which is real nice for these kids. So, Treva, the season starts off uh, by tradition, uh, a Little League parade. Yes, sir, it does. We have our Little League parade on April 16th. We had that. We had our opening day. It went off with a bang. We had so much fun. The kids are enjoying their time down here, and we love our new field. Well, the parade's important uh, because grandparents and parents get to see the kids. I mean, it's not always the most orderly of events, but, but it signifies like spring is here. Yes, sir, it does. And we love to get the kids out here and get the get the kids going and get them off the streets and have them playing on these fields. Uh, it's just real good stuff. Also, now, uh, she has wonderful history for old timers watching the show. You remember Mr. Trotman, the very pleasant umpire, uh, and you're related. Yes, that is my granddaddy. Uh, amazing man. He actually passed away four years ago, but he was an amazing man and he did very well on this field. And that's why I'm doing this is to bring on the tradition of what the Trotmans did. Well, he was part of the old guard, the savages himself yes, and others. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. there was a bunch of you guys around here on these, on this Billings Ave. There's a bunch of people that were actually a part of this. Uh, and again, a lot of memories came from that. The field has improved. The baseball diamond's been leveled out. So tell us, how did all that happen? Uh, through the rec committee and the council members, we all got together and we said we wanted a new 5070 field uh, so that we had a new team to build for our kids so they didn't have to go directly onto our senior field. Uh, it's 11 to 13 year olds and we actually transitioned this field from a major field to a uh, 5070 field just by moving the bases back and our pitching mound back. And how many kids are participating this year? Roughly, there's about 140. That's a nice number. It is a nice number. Right. Refreshment stand, I, I recall, that was Paul Marino's initiative. He was on council at the time. That's been a good investment. That seems to have held up well. Uh, yes, it has. We're actually doing improvements on that as well. We have repaint. We've painted everything. We've it's spruced it up to where it's football and baseball, and you could tell that it's for the complex. It's not just sitting there. It's completely for the complex and the kids. New menu. We make homemade foods now. We don't do a lot of the store-bought stuff. So it's come out. Enjoy. Try. 
Well, I was just going to say that was the next question. What is the schedule like? Because there, of course, is no charge at Old League Baseball. There's seating. It's comfortable. There's restrooms. And you just can't beat it for the price. Well, uh, how does the schedule work? Well, roughly we have at least three games a week on this field here. The other fields were about two games a week. Girls, Our girl, older girls softball, major softball plays here on Friday nights. And the other ones just sporadically. We have actually on Facebook, we have Paulsburg Little League. Uh, on Facebook, and you can actually look for the whole entire schedule on there for all our kids. That's perfect. Uh, it's a fun place, by the way. So if you have an evening, uh, not a bad place to be. You're in the shadow of the historic lighthouse across the street where the new port's being built, and uh, a lot of little people running around out here from time to time. New memories being born, so grateful to those who came before. But uh, uh, to this group and this president, uh, we certainly appreciate the effort to keep things going. We'll be right back. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Welcome back. We continue. We're here on the diamond at the Paulsburg Little League Complex. With me now is Mark Wilgus. Uh, you know Mark. First of all, he's a neighbor. lives in Gippstown. He works for Paulsburg Refinery. He tells me he's a senior. What are you again? Community Relations Specialist. And I ask him if there's a junior. He's it. Not that he's the entire department. He works with a good group of people. But Paulsburg Refining announced what I considered to be a very, very significant initiative uh, last week. I couldn't be there because the schedule called me to Trenton. Uh, John Mondelli was there and got footage, which we'll, we'll play over. So, Mark, uh, give us all the details and background, of course, all in three minutes. Yeah, well, that's, that's great. And it's good to be here, John. I'm really comfortable in a baseball diamond, so this is great. But uh, on Friday, May 6th, we met with officials from Rowan College at Gloucester County and inked a deal, which is basically launching a new degree program. The Process Technology Associates degree will be starting this fall and is the basis, it's the basic education that's needed to come in as an operator in the refinery. So we're very excited about that, to, to be able to bring that degree program here in county and also launch four scholarships associated with that two of which are earmarked for Paulsburg High School seniors. Uh, that's, first of all, you know, for those watching, like my grandfather worked at the refinery, there was no degree associated with it in those days, but this has become a sophisticated job and frankly, a very sought after job. So it's not just off the street anymore. So now what does that mean? So the kids will go, do they go to Gloucester County College? Now, of course, Rowan College of Gloucester County. Do they pick up credits at the high school level? How does the program work? They will be applying uh, as they normally would with Rowan College of Gloucester County. Um, it is a science, you know, a, a highly specialized science degree, part of which we will go in and teach with adjunct faculty coming from the refinery. So there's two years, associate's degree, 64 credit. In between first and second year, those on scholarship and others will also be uh, able to come in for 10 weeks in the summer in a paid internship. Uh, that, that's going to be a great opportunity, Mark, because as I said, uh, I recall a few years ago they had an opening for a handful of jobs and the, the, in the interest was really considerable. Yeah, sometimes it feels like the best kept secret, these jobs. It's great salary, wonderful benefits, and uh, it's great to be able to bring this opportunity in county because, uh, hey, I think it's uh, in, a, in, in all of our community relations initiatives, and we do a good number of things here, I can't think of anything more important than making these careers available for those in the community. Because that, that just, that pays dividends for a long time, Mark. It's well said. And by the way, behind us is a scoreboard. Fred will get a shot at it. Paulsbury Finding was involved with that. Tell us about that community initiative. Yeah, it's uh, it's part of a, a greater initiative here, as you can see. There's been wonderful things done here in the complex, but uh, we, we got together. There was an obvious need, and uh, we thought it would be great for the community to, to upgrade that scoreboard, because at the time, the president... Uh, wanted to start to attract some tournaments here, which is 
re generates revenue and a lot of interest here for the program. So we thought it was a slam dunk, uh, not to borrow a basketball metaphor, but to be able to go ahead and do that and, and make this, this complex more attractive for things like tournaments. Well, I can tell you it's very much appreciated. And, uh, and we're grateful for the community involvement of Paulsbury Refining. This program, educational opportunity, uh, that's going to also be helpful uh, to, to, to people as time moves on. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Multi-policy discount. Paperless discount. Paid in full discount. Homeowners discount. Safe driver discount. Chipmunk family reunion. Someone stole the nuts. Squirrel jail. Justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Welcome back to Ion Paulsburg. We're standing on the third baseline here at the uh, Paulsburg Little League Complex on, I guess, what used to be called the Little League Field because it was minor leagues, major leagues. I'm all confused now as to what is where. I know I'm standing. Uh, haven't been to third base in a while, but we're on a third base line. With me now is Judy McKenzie. We're going to do a couple updates on the show. Judy is the president of the Greater Paulsburg Chamber of Commerce. It's a group that's very important, uh, having been involved with it for many years myself. It is a voice of business, and uh, it helps the governing body in policymaking and uh, helps promote the town. Judy, at a recent meeting, uh, you were able to introduce the Port Project to a number of the members. Uh, yes, we were very excited with the turnout we had uh, recently uh, held right out at the Port Building. Uh, and uh, Mayor, Stevenson, Mayor Stevenson was there, you were there, a lot of, uh, and it, probably our most well-attended event, I think, really ever. We had more than 50 people there. Uh, Les Vale from uh, uh, Gloucester County Chamber reached out to uh, his board members, Workforce Investment Board. So in addition to our own members, we brought some new people to Paulsboro who really got to appreciate the port and the growth uh, and the amazing jobs it's going to bring to us. Uh, Mayor Stevenson arranged for uh, the, the new borough bus to take us on a little tour. We actually had enough people. We had to do two rounds uh, with the bus. Uh, Irma commandeered one of them. That was an extra in-depth tour. I would think so. Yes, it was very interesting. Um, but it was what, you know, I had no idea. I know there were jobs out there. I knew there were a lot of people working. But until we got up to the water and then just saw this entire parking lot full of cars, I mean, they're pet cars, really. Okay, they were pretty much all pickup trucks. There must have been at least 50, 75 cars. And that was just a regular work day. And that's just a construction phase. So it's just so exciting. I know it's taken a lot of years. I know how involved you've been in that project. But finally, we're right on the cusp of uh, success with it. Okay, and we have to build on the positives. Uh, the Chamber has a number of events, Judy, ongoing. Very important voice. Uh, you care to elaborate on any of those, give people an update, how they can join? Uh, well, I will tell you, sadly, our website is woefully out of date, but we're working on it. Um, uh, but our basic information is there. Um, chamber is open, really, to any business. We are the Greater Paulsburg Chamber of Commerce, so we include, you know, East Greenwich, Gibbstown, our local businesses, uh, because they don't have their own chambers. Uh, and we meet six times a year. We try to mix it up for our members to keep it convenient, so we always have uh, two before-hours meetings, kind of like a continental breakfast thing. That's what we had at the port. We have two luncheons. We have one coming up in June that will be at Nino's. It's for our members, and, uh, and then we always have an after-hours one. Um, recently, we had one out at Pulse for Sportsman's Club, um, and with the renovated, uh, the bar in the back, uh, what a spectacular view of the river. You yeah, just can't beat a better view. Yes, yes. And I want to come back because, you know, not really sure I can join the Pulse Sports Men's Club, but I love that back room. So, yeah. A lot has changed today. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you can, if you dress appropriately. I don't think you can we're there yet, John, but maybe we'll work on it. Uh, I think I have to get my husband a membership. I'm working on that. Uh, but so that was a nice after hours one. And of course, we always have everything. When, when, it, when it's not a place serving food, we always use our own local members for food. So, you know, we're all about spend it here, keep it here. We always try to shop Paulsboro first. So it's, it's a great theme. Chamber does a lot of good work. Uh, you see them everywhere, Very commu various community projects. You should join if you're just a citizen and want to help. Not a bad organization to join. Stay with us. We're coming right back. No, sorry, we're not coming back. Mark Camp's going to join us. We're doing one of Walkins. Mark, come on in. You know, you put Mark and Judy in the same frame with myself. The three of us have been together on this show and these various projects for a very long time. 25 Mar years. 25 years, Mark has just told me. It's actually longer than that. Yeah. Mark, your, your shirt actually says it all. We're standing in the shadows of the historic Tinnicum... Tinnicum? Tinnicum Rear Range Lighthouse. Well, that's an awful lot to say after a long day. But Mark, presently, I mean, you have lighthouse tours, a lot of activity, but you presently are shut down. That's correct. 
Uh, we are controlled by the aid, uh, Coast Guard Aids to Navigation Team out of Philadelphia. And uh, every, every couple of years, uh, they switch uh, chiefs in charge of us. Last fall, we met with uh, the, the new chief, and he gave us uh, great hope. It, he had been, been out here. He looked at the lighthouse. He wanted to get it painted. He had uh, grandiose plans to help us fix things up. Uh, and then uh, it, uh, as a preliminary uh, work to paint. Uh, they had a, a crew come out and look the lighthouse over to see if any other work had to be done prior to painting, structural work, uh, repair work, whatever. And uh, it was determined that uh, they have a structural defect. One of the legs of the lighthouse has too much deflection in it. And we have been uh, uh, re told by the Coast Guard not to enter the building until that's resolved. Uh, Initially, uh, they were talking it would be done this summer. Uh, the last call I got from the chief was that uh, uh, it's uh, more extensive than, than they originally anticipated. It'll cost more money. They don't have enough money in the current fiscal budget. And that uh, uh, we should be first priority in the next federal fiscal budget, which starts on October 1st. Sounds like we have to call Congressman Norcross. Definitely. Yeah, that, that would be a big help. Yeah, because I have to make sure it gets done in that funding cycle. Yes. The Lighthouse is a, a wonderful attraction. It's not in danger of falling, but uh, out, of, out, of, out of just being overly cautious, Mark, I guess yes. that's the approach. Yes, in fact, the chief said he doesn't even want his people to climb to change the bulbs up top. So I don't know how they're, they're going to accomplish that, but they blow out periodically. They're going, to, they're going to figure it out. They're going to get it repaired and back in business and uh, back open to the public because it's become quite an attraction. Uh, several times a year, thousands of people visit. Uh, Lighthouse Challenge is the third weekend in October. I believe it's the 15th and 16th. And uh, we will be uh, participating in the challenge, even though we, may, we won't be allowed to climb. We will be here to give out the souvenirs and stamp people's passports and uh, do everything we can for the challenge except let people climb. Well, maybe, Mark, who knows? Maybe maybe the money's found and it gets done before then. I, I hope so. It's a historic structure that's still functional and much needed. A little bit more follow-up on this will come. We'll be right back. We're going to visit with Mayor Gary Stevenson. Stay with us. We're coming right back from the Paulsburg Little League Complex. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice, think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. Well, welcome back. Our show continues. We always enjoy having the mayor on for a periodic update. I'm looking across the way, and Councilman Giovanetti has found that the refreshment stand is open, and uh, he's got both hands full. So uh, uh, the councilman certainly certainly enjoying the evening. He found the right place. Mayor, welcome. Uh, just general update. You guys have been busy. Yes, and it's good to see our governing uh, officials supporting our little league and our football leagues and such. So. John's comfortable John. with food. <laughs> yeah. Can you bring one of them hot dogs over here? But anyway. It, it won't make it. <laughs> <laughs> it. We're moving quite a bit in our, in our town, uh, John. Um, the Thompson Avenue projects, the Wooder Meter project, the uh, Wooder Stand Tower, Ellen Berkeley Road. We got a couple of pre preliminary approvals from the federal agencies on giving us a lot of that money, and we're already starting work on Thompson Avenue. So that is going to help us tremendously in paying for the cost of some of that. Gary, it's, it's, that's real important, and you're, 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 I think you're speaking of Howard Henderson and his group. They uh, they have been really helpful to town with the with the new water filtration plant. Those guys have been good to us. I'll tell you what, 
I don't know where our town would be without Howard and Steve and that whole group. I mean, they're almost like Paul's for people. And Steve actually is, but they, whatever we need, we go to them. They do their darndest to help us get these grants, these loans, and they may, we may not get everything, but I'll tell you what, without them, we'd really be lost. It's progressive thinking on a part of the governing body. Talk to us about Thompson Avenue because it's been beat up over the years, drainage problems, uh, standing water. I mean, uh, some of those properties during heavy rain, you almost had to reassess them for waterfront property. Yes, John, and, and that. I lived on Thompson Avenue for 45 years. My grandparents lived there at ground zero of the problems of Thompson Avenue. Paul and Thompson, where it would, it would flood four or five, six feet up into the houses. So the pipe, the piping all underneath is eroding. It's a complete dig up, tear up. It's something in that needs to be done. And you talk to a couple of people who've been there 50, 60 years, it's been like that. It's just time and it's a bad street. And we're going all the way to the Mantua Creek and replace all the water pipes, the storm sewer, the, everything on, on that street we are replacing and it's going to be look real great for our residents. It's going to lift the whole values, Gary. I mean, that, 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 that's the important stuff when people drive through a neighborhood and make choices. As is this little league complex, by the way, uh, the municipal investment here through the recreation committee uh, or recreation budget, I mean, uh, the, the, the new infield looks good. This is such a beautiful complex. I remember when it was no grass, boulder, same as the football field, but I, I can't say enough for where folks like Treva and uh, Mr. Parker and all that group, they volunteer their time. And they turn this into a beautiful complex that they have a big tournament here last year from the whole state of New Jersey here. And this is what they're doing. They're improving it. They're making it safer. And we're going to do the same with the football. But our volunteers, they are like a huge fabric of this community. The firefighters, the Little League coaches, the football coaches, all those people is what makes Paulsburg pride so great. You summed it up. You know, it's very good. <laughs> Close out it very well. Couldn't say it better. Uh, I have visited here with uh, Mayor Gary Stevenson. Always available to you. You can find him at the municipal building if he's not handling a funeral somewhere because Gary's retired from, from the uh, Exxon uh, Mobile Research Facility. So he spends a great deal of time uh, helping moving things forward. Stay with us. We're coming right back with Community Notes. We'll have another Stevenson in, Urban Stevenson. She's there standing with a broom. Gary was suggesting she was going to fly in, but she's going to walk in. We'll be right back. Hey. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Welcome back once again. It's time for Community Notes with Irvin, Irma Stevenson. Gary saw his mother standing next to a broom. He was the one who was wondering if she was going to fly in or not. Irma, now why would your son say that? I, I don't know. I could be the good witch. <laughs> but anyway, I was a queen, you know, in the play, high school play. So, but you know, it's a red broom, John. I know a number of queens, Irma. So. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to Mariah Thornton, Preston Berthold, Bro Brody Kozer, Rick Eli, David Ross, Carl Merrill, Dustin Butters Herrera, Robin Lynn Cordetti. Hey, wait, Dustin. Dustin. Butter. And his middle name, they call him Butters. He, he was one of our great football players this year on the Red Raiders and going on to college. Sean's already signed up. Robin Lynn Cordetti, Rick Eli, uh, the two twins, John, the sausage guys. Eugene and Vito yeah. DiGiovacchino. We got to get down there, John. Get back Amanda Bryce, a Margaret Ledoux, a Pat Gauss, a Dripsy Nordoff, John. We're yeah. never going to find a secret till he dies, he said. A Danielle Relation, Jimmy Roan, Ed Swift, Bill Doak Jr., and Bob Campbell. And happy anniversaries to Major Claude and Kim Berthold, who are in Okinawa serving one more year. Kay and Pete Ruggi, Sean and Jean Lee, Jack and Elaine Koshu, Gail and Nippy DeMarco, and Tom and Rose Friars. Happy birthdays and anniversaries. And, John, we want to remind everybody Memorial Day is a celebration. Uh, what? Uh, let me see. Far House at 9. Uh, the point at 1030 and then back to the VFW. Please come out and honor our vets. Uh, the Glorious Light Christian Church Ministries are going to have their annual Mommy Bee Crusades Youth Walkathon Saturday, May 28th, 
3.5 mile walk through Paulsburg, followed by their church annual picnic. 9.30 is registration, 10.30 the walk begins. Uh, it is a fundraiser, $10 if you're 8 to 18 and $25, 16 and over. Call, now John, you're great with names, but call Ona P. and Moya, 302-981-2728 for more information. They are just a wonderful group oh, of people. John, they, they march in our parades. Yeah. They, they just are really... Very, very special. We're glad they're in Paul's Bar. May 28th, chicken barbecue at the Gibstown VFW from 1 to 4. Please call 423-2313. And John, our uh, Paul's Bar Midget Football Association, they're trying to do fundraising for their kids. On June the 10th, they will have a junior high royal gala in the Paul's Bar High School cafeteria from 7P to 11P. $20 a couple, $15 single. It's for uh, our 7th and 8th graders. They're having their own prom Formal wear, um, no hats, no sneakers, no boots. Formal wear, they're saying. Uh, tickets will be available at the Boys and Girls Club May 25th and 26th and June 1st and 2nd. And this is um, our great leaders, president and all, that are really helping our kids. Okay, we have. And July the 9th, they're going to have um, bring Hollywood to Paulsburg. Mother, son, father, daughter, uh, dance. Get ready to walk the red carpet. Uh, go on the website for more information. And, John, our Paulsburg High School All Sports Banquet, which your dad is chairperson many, many years. Your mom worked there, too. 6.30 p.m., uh, May 26th, the 16th at Nicolosi's. Call Adina Giovanetti, 423-2222, extension 2271, for tickets. Um, May 18th, we're going to have the Junior High Spring Concert at 7. And on May 24th, at 7 p.m., the Senior High. John, they do such a great job. Uh, golden anniversary, of course, will be Sunday, June 26, 2016, from 2P to 7P. If you need to know your representative, call me for your class. If you started off in the freshman class, you are the class. $35 a dinner at a lettuce. And the class in 1966 will be honored this year, John. That's Jimmy Milstead's class. That's so he will be busy with his story. And let's not forget 4th of July, John. It's coming quickly. July 2nd will be the Gibstown Parade, and on July 4th will be Paul's for Parade, and we will be celebrating 100 years of Paul's for High School, John. We are going to have fun. It's going to be very special. One birthday we left out, we're going to give a special happy birthday to Beth Donofrio, uh, which is on May the 16th. Beth, I told you I'd mention your name again. Herman, <laughs> really that's going to wrap it up. John, isn't it wonderful to be down here? Thanks to our i -Corps trivia. Uh, our volunteers are wonderful people, and they have been many, many years ago, and they just keep the legacy of Paulsburg Little League going on. That they do. For uh, Fred Buchter behind the camera, for Amy Cook, who couldn't be here today, and for Bill Crane, our producer, who couldn't be here today. Uh, Irma? See you on Broad Street, and come down the Little League and enjoy their food. Until uh, next time.